The story is that in 1876, Conrad Earhart uh, went to the nation's centennial celebration in Philadelphia and saw this particular organ on display from a company in Vermont, and he fell in love with it. He was the org pump organ player at Mount Pleasant at the time. Well, he, had this, he bought the organ and had it shipped to his home here in Earhart, where he played it at home until 1904 when he and the Copeland brothers and his brother and Charles Hartz got together and built this church. And then he moved the organ here to the church. It stayed here and he played it on Sunday mornings until he passed away. And then several years later, it kind of fell into disrepair. The congregation bought a, a replacement electric organ rather than this pump organ. And the Earhart family, part of which had moved to North Carolina, contacted the church and offered to purchase the organ. So that they did, and they had it shipped to Vermont, where it was repaired and retrofitted with an electric uh, motor so that you wouldn't have to pump it anymore. And they kept it there for several generations until the last person who really cared about the organ passed away. And they contacted a, young, a lady who was a member here at Earhart Memorial, who was a descendant of Conrad Earhart, and asked her if the church would like it back for free. And so she went up to North Carolina, got the organ and brought it back. And it's been here ever since. We dedicated it, I think it was five years ago, the bishop was here to help us dedicate the organ. And each year uh, at homecoming, uh, our organist, our piano player, Robert Copeland, uh, plays, usually plays the prelude here on this organ.